<laughs> how are you? I was waiting until it says, says like, yeah, it started. Great. So, how are you? How are you guys? Uh, I decided to speak a little bit in English today. I felt like it. Um, welcome back or welcome to my channel. It's okay, you can breathe. Uh, my name is Uriel, Uriel Tamir Tyler. I know it's hard in English for some reason. Um, my pronunciation of my name, Uriel, for some reason, English speakers always love Uriel better. <sighs> so before we go to my topic, how to improve your life, uh, just want to share a bit. I'm living, uh, now I know, with the CPTSD, um, that's the technical term, you know, for, well, <laughs> For a really long time, about 30 years, I don't know really, because I was only diagnosed three years ago, almost, in two months it will be. But the symptoms fit completely ever since I remember myself around 10 or something when I started going to all kind of psychologists. Yes, already back then when I was 10, I was exploding and my parents didn't know what to do. So, psychologist. Um, I played with them <laughs> to take some time off, <laughs> but that's not the story for today. The idea is that um, because I didn't trust, um, for many reasons, all kind of, sorry for all the noises, I'll side note, my daughter is at kindergarten. As usual, I'm much more tempered <laughs> when she's uh, with me, even if she's uh, if I'm on standby. Uh, that's why the voices, the noises. Um, that's it. Anyway. So for different reasons, I don't want to go all kind of stories because so many details, I can go into many, many details. I grew up not really trusting anyone, especially not outsiders <laughs> or grown-ups or people like, let me tell you what to do. <laughs> Fast. I got, uh, with the years, could get really angry with someone who will tell me what to do. So the thing is that um, alongside with my CPTSD, with all the things that um, I have to live with, I just thought about, um, I'm talking about my daughter, but the, her being unique. And I want her to know that she's not the only one who is unique. Everyone is unique. Everyone has his own uniqueness. I even wrote it now on Facebook, in Hebrew, sorry. Um, you know, what's your uniqueness? And the thing is that all through back, like looking back, and a couple of memories actually popped up in a, after two and a half years of really hard, hard inner work. And what I, when I look back, one of my uniquenesses, uh, one of the things I'm good, I'm good at, I can literally say, yeah, I know. <laughs> and is that I can go forward and I don't want anyone to tell me what to do. I hate it. I see it with my daughter. <laughs> Same thing. Um, every time I tell her what, to, anything, listen. <laughs> um, so I always, I hated people telling me how to do things, where to go. And, and the thing is that it's not only hated as any kid would do. I also had some kind of, uh, I have. Some kind of their inner GPS, I can call it. I'll give you a few examples so you can understand. When I was five, I uh, guided my family in, a, it used to be kind of a big village. Now it's a small town, I'm not sure, Binyamina, if you know. Type it if you like. <laughs> but it's two hours drive from here, from my parents' house. Um, I've been there once in the house of a girl that we kind of adopted, you know, we're kind of in a, my family kind of adopting family. And we've been there once. And when I was five, I was literally telling my parents and my family where to go. And they were shocked when I was right. When I was eight, um, four people, 50 years old, something, 50 something years old. Uh, well, I took them for a, a trip, a hike. Uh, to a place I knew how to 
you know, I knew the place because it was like a 10 minutes drive there, but I never ever walked there. Not since, not before. And I guided that hike. I just knew how to go. <laughs> when I was nine, fourth grade, we just started the, the main kind of trip, you know, a hike with the, all the class, you know, where we go and sleep at places and stuff like that. I don't know how you have it. So we were just climbing a, a, a mountain, which is not that big, high mountain, but it's a, <laughs> it's a high mountain, like out of nowhere. And the thing is that the road is like this, as every mountain you would be, right? <laughs> but when I saw all the classes, all the class going with the teacher, I kind of gave my teacher a heart attack and I just walked straight. <laughs> Decided I, I want to go there faster. That was boring. When I was 11, I already guided my family in Amsterdam. <laughs> I just picked my, my eyes from my you know, notebook and said, like, turn right. And they looked at me like, what? OK, let's go. My brother, who was the big GPS, <laughs> you know, he's the driver, my eldest brother. He still is, always is. He said left, and I said right. And they just, you know, let's see, you know, just let's give it. You know, give it to him. Right, right, boom. We were at the place we were aiming. and. All my family still talks about it. Why am I talking about this? This is my uniqueness. This is my, my love. I hate when people walk in front of me. I hate it. Uh, it drives me nuts, literally. I can't stand it. <laughs> and slowly with the years, now me being a father, so I have to put my daughter a bit you know, ahead. So it's a challenge. <laughs> yeah, I've learned the past five years. I made quite a change and still am, of course. The thing is, I'm not talking about, you know, for giving me, yeah, look, I'm so good. Who cares? <laughs> Who the beep cares? What's your uniqueness? Now, why I want to, to talk about how to improve your life, it's kind of funny because I will never, ever, ever, ever tell you how to improve your life. I will tell you now, I will. I thought I would just do it as short as possible, as you know, you know, tight, you know, so you won't get bored and, you know, throw the, this life away. Um, so at least you will know how much power you already own. I will repeat that. So you will know how much power you already own, have in your possession, whatever you want to call it. You have the ability, the power, the capability, whatever you want to call it, to improve your life in any section, realm, or level, or whatever you want to call it. Doesn't matter. If it's um, health, relationships, intimate, I mean, uh, relationships with money, relationship with parents, relationship with blah, 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 blah. Whatever you want with yourself, that's the best. I've been doing this for the past 30 years, and... I have no recommendation whatsoever than for you to get to know yourself. And I will now give you my way. <laughs> I will give you my uh, exercises. It's exercise I actually share in my um, lecture. But the thing is that because of my CPTSD, I have no idea what will happen tomorrow. I am awake since four o'clock. I was about to go to sleep, you know, while my daughter is in um, in the kindergarten. But then I thought about this live, and I I got fired up, and I said, "Okay, I'll just go walk home and see." But I thought, like, no, I can't. I can't lie down now. I, I have to talk about this. Okay, <clears throat> light up the fire, light up the computer. Um, because the thing is that because of my CPTSD, because of my situation. I don't know when I will have the power to talk to anyone. Any meeting with any person, anyone, even loved ones, <laughs> causes a huge amount of stress in my body. So I pretty much isolate myself. Let's say through all the COVID, I was never thrown back to, uh, how do you call it, quarantine, because I was already, <laughs> I was never sent because there was no need. I never met anyone except my daughter and, you know, a couple of people here and there. Um, so, yeah, I was lucky. I was quarantining myself. In my, I was quarantining myself. <laughs> um, because I was going through my own hell. 
while everyone going through COVID, I was starting. I five minutes before five months beforehand, I crashed two months, a month and a week before the Corona COVID started. I was diagnosed with my CPTSD. So while everyone went through whatever they want, and I'm sure everyone went through enough, I went through my own. Um, a lot, a lot of, a lot of cleaning, cleansing, like, oh my God. <gasps> hardest, hardest I've ever went through while being a father. Wow. So I don't know when I will meet you. And I don't know if I will meet you. And I don't know, maybe you need this information right now. I'm sure you would because this information will give you the, the, the understanding that you can realize and manifest anything you want. And not, I'm not going into the manifestation, no. My way is going in. Very simple. You already do the exercises, you're masters at it. Don't worry, you'll be like, oh, really? Trust me. I worked on it because, because of my CPTSD, I have a problem with remembering. So I need things that I don't, I can't, I don't need to think of, <laughs> you know, it's like it there. If I need it, you know, I have it. So I, I can't forget it at home. I, I, it's already in me. It doesn't matter if I'm talking to someone, if I have money or not, if, uh, if I have my best friends with me or if I'm going through hell like I did in the past three years. And still my process is not done. It's still like, oh my God, but I'm way better. <laughs> and, and I think my money is already somewhere else still don't know we'll see the thing is that you already have the abilities to do anything you want <laughs> to literally live your life the way you want and to believe in yourself that you can and how we do it <laughs> well i always say it's like a common thing and i just told my daughter i know um the phrase slowly slowly and about Let's see. Slowly, slowly, leat, leat, Hebrew. Arabic, shwaye, shwaye, Spanish, poco a poco, uh, German, shrit, you shrit. So at least five. <laughs> uh, I'm sure I can think of one or two more. But it's pretty much the first phrase I'm learning at anything, at any language I would like or want. Because like, everyone, calm the beep down. It's like everything in me, I need to calm you down. So I want to help you calm down. Would you like that? Sorry for all the expressions. If it's too loud, sorry. Anyway, so my way goes through four very simple capabilities you already own. You don't have to pay for it. You don't have to practice it. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to do anything about it. You are born with it. And I even say that the force, the force um, exercise, <laughs> the force capability um, is breathing. We kind of like, we're that stupid. It took us nine months to learn to breathe. But the first three, we already know. In the first nine months, as UTIS is. UTIS, they call it, you know, whatever. In the stomach, in the womb. So I will go really quick on the four, so you will know. So one, the capability of changing. Did you change your shirt today? Great, you can do that, great. Um, the capability of feeling. I'm sure I pissed you off until now. I'm kidding. Um, or some kind of emotion. Or I'm sure you felt if I'm boring you to death, so please stop. Go do something else. Um, but, you know, you feel. <laughs> in, in Israel, we have the, the two days with the most beautiful songs. The memorial days. <laughs> the, the third capability, being curious. <laughs> There are already, um, you know, tests who are shown that Yitis, like the us, you know, and the five months old in this in the womb already. Oh, what's that? Touching ourselves. So it's it's a capability you already own. Can you ask her questions? What the fuck is he talking about? Great. So I guess you can ask a question. Great. <laughs> and the fourth, like I said, we are that stupid. We are that dumb. It took us three months. Uh, nine months, sorry, to learn how to breathe. And thank God we cannot live without breathing. Okay? <laughs> it's that obvious. It's the first thing and the last thing we do on like uh, in this body. 
So the thing is that by using all four of them, by any time you want, I will give you some examples in a minute, but anytime you like, anytime you want, anytime you feel like it, don't do it with stress. Please don't. Please don't. Not because Ogile said, don't, don't do that. Please. I, I followed and didn't, I never followed, but I heard so many kind of methods and shit like that. All kind of stuff. Sorry, but all kind of uh, how to do stuff. And it always drives me nuts when people always, you know, but he did this and this. Yeah, but you are not him. You are not her. You're not in that age. You're not in that time. You have so many differences. How can you say, but he did that? So what? <laughs> so this is you. Okay? It's only you. Okay? Get You sit on your ass. Great. Actually, we don't sit on our ass like my doctor taught me a year and a half ago. She actually corrected us. Me. Um, we, she said we don't sit on our ass. We sit on the, with our ass on a chair. Small girl. Um, so that one who sits on the chair. Yeah, the one who's looking at me. Great. I want you to get to know you, yourself. And you can do that by any other method you already have learned or you practiced or you want, whatever fits you. <laughs> Doesn't matter. What, what does matter is that you want to get to know yourself and you do anything about it. Something. Short, in short version, pay attention. That's it. If you want to finish the live now, okay, you had enough, okay. Pay attention to yourself. That's it. <laughs> um, if you want the exercises that I did in order to get to the point I know that I can just pay attention, okay, this is it. <laughs> so, first exercise, like I said, the capability of changing. Change got a terrible, terrible name. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> we were grown to believe that change is horrible, is terrible, what goes behind the, the corner, what's behind in the closet, blah, 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 blah. And that makes us stake around in relationships we don't like and actually hate or dangerous, literally. Uh, being a job, same thing, relationships that are not good for us. Just because we're scared of, you know, not having money. Yes, of course. We <laughs> Same fear. <laughs> Don't worry. I still have to live. I still have to pay. I still have to do. do, 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 do. We all have the same things. Same nonsenses in our heads. Different names sometimes. Um, so, the capability of change. The idea is, I'm been practicing change since I was 12. It started off with, uh, I'm pretty much telling you everything from my lecture because I had enough of keeping it in my stomach. Um, so I started off with a tea, a teaspoon of sugar. I, I asked myself out of the blue, what will happen if there would be no more sugar? <laughs> and I saw like, ah, uh, okay, first thing, can I accumulate? I'm like, nah, come on, where will you put it? <laughs> um, okay, uh, okay, let's get, you know, shorted the usage, you know? So I went inside, this was my sister's uh, apartment at the time, and made myself a cup of tea different, whatever, uh, with two teaspoons of sugar. Now it's only half. I used to drink without. Now it's a half. It's another change. <laughs> Just like that. What I do be, for myself, because my CPD is, uh, I use always this term so you can look it up and understand. It's I have a CPD part of me, which makes me be like this. So I have to move it a bit. <laughs> Otherwise, I won't get. I won't leave my house, literally. Well, not to. No, yeah. The 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 changing part every time causes a lot of stress for me. Even getting out of the bed, sometimes I have to remind myself. Okay, now you're gonna make yourself a nice cup of coffee the way you like. You're gonna sit down and read your favorite book right now, and you're gonna wake up nice and slowly. And you're like, okay, that's nice. <laughs> I have to, to teach myself. <laughs> like ah. But the thing is that I keep practicing change in order to make my mind more flexible. Because my mind is so strict, 
and it's strict guys it's strict it always is it's perfectionist it's always got to be like this i made it more flexible so it would be like it got to be like this <laughs> so it can be keep being flexible so i'm teaching it myself the thing is that what i've learned in the past 30 years is that every change i want to do first of all comes out of nowhere <laughs> change does happen by itself so the wanting is like oh yeah i want that i want to explore that part i want to know myself in this area i want to figure out this one this part it's just you know comes <laughs> it's like yeah this part so first things first pay attention to what pulls your attention what what draws your attention that's what you want it's very simple second um the thing is that the more i've done it the more exercises I've done, and I've done many, 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 many ones, many, many changes since this tiny little teaspoon of sugar changed this tiny one. I made changes in realms that everyone who knows me, I've, I've heard many times already, oh, wow, you changed. Because uh, it's me, I'm always changing. And the thing is that the more I've done it, the more con by, while being aware, while being conscious, you know, by by um, initiating change, it's like I don't really change, but I initiate changes and I pay attention to them. That's it. Simple. I initiate tiny little changes. We call it in Hebrew changes. We are tiny for you. You know, like are easy going. Really, like even guys, I'm not kidding. If you steer that way, just do this for a week, just for the fun, for the fun. Just like just to see what the hell it was he talking about. Okay. The thing is that every tiny little change causes more attention to arise. <laughs> and the more attention arises, the more capability of changing arises as well. <laughs> it's like the egg and the chicken. Each and every one of them you operate operates the other one. So the more changes, tiny little changes you do, tiny ones, guys, things that your mind will be like. What the hell is he talking about? Exactly those. What, how would that help? Exactly, boom, that, those. Um, because the only thing is like, is to practice. It's like a muscle. It's a muscle. Even if you do with a toilet paper, you do this for months, you'll get stronger. Why? Because you operated the muscle, not because you fixed anything. You help. If you do, if you hold 10 kilos or anything, yeah, of course it will go grow faster but that's also more food more attention you have to do it again and again and so on and so on and it's not also so easy because it's so hard blah 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 so what i'm doing is doing it by like easy step by step easy going it's not, i'm not talking anything new here guys you probably heard it somewhere else it works okay just telling you what works for me it improved my life in so many areas, I can't even describe. Me living uh, for three years without working. Knock, knock, knock on wood. <laughs> I'm on like really this edge. But it's, it, it works. I'm not doing the like, yeah, yeah, don't work. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm going through hell, my own private hell. I'm going through my own private uh, demons and my CPDSD jumped to the roof in the, well, Let's say eight months ago, it kind of relaxed a bit. But I had like two and a half years of <gasps> really, guys, out. Um, so it's not like don't work. I'm saying as a result of all my tiny little changes, I will tell you about it when I get to the curiosity, what led to this financial situation. Yes. So if you do kind of little changes, you, you become also more curious because you're like, hmm, what can I what else can I change? Because when I change that tiny little teaspoon of sugar and it's all like, oh, nothing happened. And I'm like, oh, okay, what can I do? And then I change the way I looked, you know, I managed to look in girls' eyes. You know, when I was 12, you know, the start of puberty, I was insecure. Guys, this red was white for me. I was so embarrassed, like, they would just look back like this, don't look, they look, I was here. So I was sort of like, oh, how can I change this? 
and I did it. I'm not going to go through everything because it's too much. I want to go through the rest. But every tiny little change leads to another one, and you will grow. So just start with the tiniest ones. Just buckle your seatbelt. <laughs> Second thing, I wanted to do it like this, but I keep talking more. What can I do? This is me. Great. I still try to get it short. Um, emotions. Emotions literally are energy in motion. I didn't think of that. Someone wrote it somewhere, um, but it's true. <laughs> emotions are usually are actually what you feel. It's the energy in motion. You feel it and you call it this emotion or that emotion. This is anger. This is fear. This is... How do you feel? Uh, jealousy. <laughs> Jealous. How do you feel? Uh, sad. So we found like the mind kind of like, oh yeah, it reminds me that, 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 that was sad. That, 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 that was, that was happy. That, 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 that was the scared. That, that, all kind of uh, signs. And we named our feelings, our emotions, so we can relate to them. We can know what to do and so on and so on. The thing is with emotions, and like I call it in my lecture, enemy or not. <laughs> I used to be scared to death for my emotions. So scared, I was literally uh, disconnected from them until I was 24. Not a joke, guys. Not a joke. I was aware of it when I was in the middle of rebirthing workshop in Australia. Uh, prologue for the curious part. Again. Um, and I literally cried my eyes out. I already shared this story before. While saying, I don't know how to feel. <laughs> kind of weird, huh? Yes. But I, I was completely disconnected. And only because some guy looked at me like, what? Like, he was, yeah, he was so astonished in his eyes. I saw like the, what? I thought my mind was like, what's wrong? <laughs> so, yes. Emotions are part of of our life. The faster you accept it, the faster your life will get better. Boom. <laughs> That's it. Short version of everything. Yeah, yeah I'll tell you that. Don't worry. How did I do it? <laughs> because I was so disconnected and now I'm like, if I'm not crying, everything is emotions for me. Everything. I operate music all the times to, to, to get my, all the time, sorry. To get my flood going, <laughs> because otherwise I like I, sometimes I am out. This is my CPT is it? Like the mind shuts down and wow. So I used to be really, really scared of emotions. I used to be scared of my fear. I used to be scared of my jealousy. I used to be scared of my anger. <sighs> that was a big fear because you know it used to be scared, so scared for people and people got hurt because I was yelling at them so i got scared of it um so in the beginning <laughs> the first thing i notice is that i feel when i listen to music and i feel when i watch tv or now the you know internet um or movies <laughs> yes it's our escape uh, yeah, we need it. I use it for it to, you know, <laughs> blank my mind for a minute. Like, okay, enough. Yeah, it's a great escape. But <laughs> it's a huge but with it. Because the escape is for part of my mind. Yeah, just watch and blah, 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 blah. Think of nothing. But with that, you know, there's a time where you, the hero is in danger or the woman is... Uh, in love or whatever and you feel their emotions it's called empathy <laughs> that's one of the parts of makes us humans we feel what other feel we can now the thing is that the movies and tvs are kind of triggering us all kind of thing like if we see a a, a man and a woman hug and the the sounds are like oh you feel like oh <laughs> If we feel, uh, if we see a big chase with cars, we get excited. <laughs> we see it in our chair. <laughs> but our heart, if you feel it, you'll check. 
Um, so the thing is that if we already feel our emotions, why not get to know them? Because when we get to know, we get more the, the feeling of safety. We, the thing is that the more we get to know something, we trust. It's very simple because our mind needs to know. The more we know about something, we know what to do about it. We know whatever situation will come and arise, we'll know what to do because we already explore it and get to know it. So the same thing with emotions. Because I used to go nuts. Nuts. I, I, I broke a few doors. <laughs> yes. I hid my fist through a wall a few times. I remember the feeling. Um, and I had to be able to contain those emotions. Otherwise, how can I live? <laughs> so slowly, slowly, bit by bit, I get to watch my emotions and get to know them. Whether uh, if it was through emo uh, music or TV, doesn't matter. Whatever trigger my emotions, and in the safety, you know, of the you know safety of the sofa, you know, you you feel at home. The mind is not really in danger. It's okay. You can remind your mind. You do remember you live. You are in your own house, right? <laughs> That's it. That's all you have to remember to tell it. Like let's get to know it. That's it. And what I do by Getting to know it, what is it? It's very, very simple. I pay attention, you know, something I feel like I feel my feelings, you know, arises and like, okay, what's that? What kind of, what emotion is that? And sometimes it's, it, sometimes it's vague. You like, you don't know. It's okay. Just go back to your movie or your music or whatever you want, you're doing. But sometimes you'll be like, wait, that's jealousy. Okay. Mine, jealousy, jealousy, mine, I get to know each other. Good, let's go continue with my book or whatever you are doing. Books as well. Um, the thing is that the more the mind, this thing that thinks and prepares and do all kind of things, get to know the emotions, you will start paying attention to how important they are in the art of creation. And if you ever watch the law of attraction, you probably know what I'm talking about. If you didn't, <laughs> really, <laughs> how did you? Um, I got to know this uh, law of attraction when I was seven because I, w I saw a ball, you know, in the shop and I really wanted it, but I didn't say a word about it because I just, you know, asked for something else. And But my brother, two days later, just was holding the same ball, writing the, you know, kind of like uh, something for me, like uh, as a present. Yeah, I looked at it like, how did he know? <laughs> and I started exploring it. And yes, you can create with your mind whatever you want, period. If you want to argue with it, about it, please do with someone else because I don't argue about it. Um, your mind is the best factory for anything you want. The matrix is absolutely real. You can create anything. Literally, sometimes it's from thin air. Sometimes it looks like they're like, wow, how... I don't know how to always operate it exactly. It, it always works. <laughs> it's, it doesn't always work when I want it. You know, the thing is that it sometimes it, when it works, it works so fast. It's like how what, what what happened? I let's say that the the phrase "Why didn't you think of money?" is a very very common phrase I hear from people when I tell them about stories or what happened today or what happened last week or whatever. It's a common, it's the way I live my life. I don't have every, any way. It's just I think of something and I just, I want it. So I explore about it. I ask questions. Let's move to curiosity now. I breathe a lot, but we'll get that for a minute later. The thing is that I ask as many questions about it with myself in the internet as much as I can because I because my CPTZ I can't really much. So my way is through people. What do you know? 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 I don't I used to be a bit annoying. <laughs> yes, sorry. I've learned to do it with the you know without bugging people. <laughs> you know, what do you, what do you think of that? <laughs> Whatever. But no no I never actually how do I do it? It just comes with conversation, you know. 
but I'm curious about it. The thing is that to stay in the state of curiosity, and I'll give you the a story about it. You know, when I was in Australia, just after the just in that rebirthing workshop I was talking about, um, I had this um, in a voice telling me to go to a big city with no money in English. <laughs> By the way, it was funny. Deeper voice go telling me go to a big city with no money. When I asked it, like inside, like what city? Sydney. I'm like, okay. <laughs> now back then, I already trusted my voice because I had uh, a nice ten months in Spain, in Morocco, and uh, Amsterdam, which when I, where I literally saw how this intuition works, and so I decided to trust it, <laughs> and I spent. 1200 Australian dollars like this within a month after the workshop and I arrived in Sydney at 1st of December literally in a few days 18 years ago and for the day that literally changed my life for like one of the days or days that well 10 days in total but this this day was completely mind shifting and the thing is that I arrived at 2 o'clock. I trusted this voice and I arrived at 2 o'clock in Sydney's airport after I transferred, uh, transferred, um, exchanged my last 70 pounds I had, you know, in the back, you know, the next to the wall, next to the passport and everything, this tiny little bit of money my grandfather gave me. And I changed it to $120 in Tasmania and Hobart. And we flew to Sydney, me and my friend. My friend had a place to stay, so she went there, and I had I could have asked if I can at least come for a day or two because I had literally no money, and I said, uh, and I knew how to do it, you know, ask for favors. I was by then a master, but I said like, no, this voice told me to arrive to a city with no money. Okay, bye. <laughs> I said to my friend, I'm not gonna make it that long because there's so many details <laughs> you know right like what details what details what details so many details what's more important is that um i had 120 dollars to spend in a city of four million people it's a money it's amount of money that can literally disappear in half an hour like bam, like that even less it's the city sydney <laughs> And I had all that <laughs> to go into Sydney, look for a place to stay and work, and if I can't find, leave the city and literally have no money and find my way. The level of stress, <laughs> one of the highest uh, I ever went through. But the thing is that I, I didn't allow myself to stay because then you know, I was get money <laughs> and that's one of the things that when you throw yourself into the unknown your mind don't throw yourself off a cliff unless you know how to do it because I was already doing it for 12 years this this inner conversation with my intuition and checking it I believed myself that I can go through this if you don't believe don't literally don't your belief will give you the summit the summary of everything you'll do because that's why it's so important to grow your belief your belief in yourself the belief in your capabilities and that's why i'm talking about these uh, capabilities because you already own them <laughs> that's it so i immediately went to look for work i couldn't get it and i even i uh, learned that in order to be a waiter I had to pay $70 for a day course, two things I didn't have, obviously. So I went on, a waiter <laughs> in Israel, take the tray, move. Uh, <laughs> that's Israel. Do you have experience? <laughs> Great, move. Um, the thing is, uh, I went back to my hostel, I'd get a little bit of food. You know, it was already six o'clock, I was hungry. I landed at two, you know, four hours. I so I ate a bit and then I asked myself two questions, which is the, the, the essence of curiosity to ask questions. 
And the best is to ask questions without answering about them, without knowing. Like, no, just ask. Like this. And I know it's like it looked like really spiritual, like this. <laughs> I know, whatever. <laughs> just came out like this. But it is like this. Because what I ask is, what do I need? That's obvious. I know, money, right? How do I get it? The thing is, I didn't know. If I would stick with I don't know, I would go nuts. I don't know, 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 I don't know. <laughs> right? It's like, you would go nuts. Remember, I already was with um, $17. Was, the, oh, the, uh, the ride was free. <laughs> the hostel was $17 plus 20 deposit. $37 like this. Uh, yeah, deposit I got later, of course. But I was already down by $40, even less. So I knew I knew get, that I needed money, but how, how do I get it? So I said, okay, let's move. And that's exactly being curious is, is to ask a question and move. Not just like... <laughs> it's the same as I did with this live. I didn't know how it will come up. I would wanted to make it a nice package so you can watch it in 10, 20 minutes, but me, CPTZ my, it takes my mind a thousand ways. Um, but this is it. <laughs> I'm curious, and I move. That's it. <laughs> That's all. That's how I do my these lights. I ask, okay, let's see how it will work now. <laughs> this is how I do it. The thing is that when you move, things happen. And to tell you the truth, it it seemed like a magic show. <laughs> I went down <laughs> the four floors. I was sitting on the top of the floors. I went down four floors, asked the people, you know, in the hostel, in the lounge. And they told me, oh, look for billboards. Go to all kind of hostel and look for billboards. They're looking for short and, uh, and, you know, it's always black. Yeah, yeah, like everyone. So I started walking in all kind of hostels, one here, one there, one here. And then in the third one or the fourth, maybe. Someone told me of a very specific hostel, which is that has the best offers. Like, yeah, okay, where it is? <laughs> where is it? <laughs> so they sent me. So I walked, and I remember it was left. And then I remember it was some kind of a nice white entrance, beautiful hostel, impressive. Mm. Not one of those, you know, you know, <laughs> backpackers. It didn't look like it, it was a very nice uh, prestige. It seemed like it. Anyway. I came and I went to the desk and the, the woman there, you know, the receptionist talked to this guy. So I was patient. Now, again, remember, I have no money. I'm looking for a job. ASAP, -S -S like as soon as possible. But I had, when I saw the, them talking, I knew that I can't push myself, you know. It's, it's not uh, polite, <laughs> you know, easy. So like, okay, let's wait. But then I kind of leaned, and I saw the woman just started writing this note, and it said, wanted. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and I waited, and she finished, and I said, like, uh, what's that? <laughs> oh, you look at your job? She contacted me with this uh, guy. She said, like, I'll call it for him. He pays really good. He's a great guy. And the next day, I met Kevin, 7 o'clock. And I was uh, laying bricks, <laughs> laying the floor bricks, or making cement, stuff like that, for a few days. And then uh, when he said that he doesn't have a job already, to ex exchange for another job. This, the next day, I was already working. I didn't have a day in, in that month that it didn't work. It, everybody looked at me like, how do you do it? Like, mm, I go for them. <laughs> I don't look for them. I go for them. And this is being curious. Being curious is the ability to tell yourself, yes, I don't know the way. True, I don't. I don't know how to get what I want because I don't know. No one no, knows how to tell me or no one is there to tell me. Whatever reason, great. Tell yourself, great. I know that I don't know. Now move forward. Keep what you want here. Focus on it. Talk about it, think about it, write about it, sing about it. Whatever works for you, doesn't matter. I love to talk to people. So I talk to people about it. 
if you like to sing, sing about it. If you love to paint, paint about it. If you like to write about it, whatever, it doesn't matter. Keep your mind focused on it. And expect near, and expect, don't, don't expect. You know what? Don't. Expectations are actually, uh, I think it's even worse than fears because it's already put out of our mind what will happen. It's only stress. Don't. I know it's easier said than done. I'm, I have my own expectations as everyone. Um, but the thing is, focus on your curiosity. Move forward. Talk about whatever, you know, focus on whatever you want. And yes. Check it. <laughs> Four, so we have, if I go to breathing. So changing, you can change to tiny little ones, tiny ones. The ones that your mind tells you like, what? <laughs> Great. Even if you, if you uh, used to soak your right hand, like I am the first one. So just do the left one, just for the fun of it. Just for like, mm, okay, go to work in a different road. Go to work in a different way. <laughs> Go to your friends in a different way, work, way, whatever. <laughs> um, so, that changing feelings or emotions, energy, emotions. Get to know them, guys. It's, it's you. Emotions are part of you who you're just feeling or moving around. It's, it's okay. <laughs> it's perfectly fine. I know I used to be scared to death about it from them. Um, get to know them. Best thing I ever did. Like, literally, after making friends, we change, of course, because it's kind of like, you know, move together. But making friends with my, my emotions and getting to know them every time they arise. And I have, you know, it's always a different challenge. It's not like always, oh, it's done. It's always some kind of like, now it's guilt, you know, being a father and, you know, you have to blah, 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 you know. Anyway, so each one of us has his own emotions thing to do. Get to know them. Allow them to be there. Accept them. It's a part of you. It's, it will only do you good. Only good. I promise it's only good. If many, very extraordinary, sorry, very few things I can promise, making friends with emotions will improve your life dramatically. Like we yawn capability of explaining. Maybe in some other life I will try. I started, you know, writing about it, but it's, it's unheard of. Try it. Get any emotions, get to know them. It's no uh, race. That's the mind is the race. The emotions just get to know them, feel them when they arise, arise, whatever, or arrive, whatever. Curious guys, you're curious anyway. If you're curious about the good things, you'll stop being curious about traffic jams, and then the other, the other side will at least have less traffic jams. <laughs> um, so be curious about the right things, what you want, about how to get, to, how to improve your life. Start with that. <laughs> How would I improve my life? How can I? Do, what can I do now? Who can I speak with? Who can I listen to? What? Who, who else speaks about these things? I'm definitely not not the, only, not the only one, guys. Far from it. I'm even the the least. You know, the one that doesn't know how to explain about things. I'm only explaining about the four capabilities that you can do. Um, but all this realm look it up okay. look it up now breathing ah i just remember today that when i when my ex was pregnant i told a friend of mine that i'm practicing solving um, issues or problems with the oh by breathing so i'll say it now in one line practicing solving issues and problems by breathing and I remember he said to me like oh that sounds hard like, okay, I'm practicing. Practicing. Now, let's say that when I want to uh, override a car who drives really slow and I, you know, it, it's annoying, especially for me, like I said. And I, I taught myself to drive slowly and safely and stuff like that because, like I said, I used to be in that case. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking like what I'm talking about myself. Anyway. There was some kind of expression. So now when I drive, so I breathe. And I listen to music to operate my emotions, to help me breathe. And the thing is that when we breathe, we literally focus ourselves from the problem. 
we just breathe. And then the problem with our minds is having issues of how to operate, how to do, what to do, what to do. It's the factory, you know, they're working. Now you're the boss. You don't have to be in the working zone. You don't. Think about it. Just take the example. The factory, big, loud voice in the working zone, right? You've been to a factory, I'm sure, someplace. You know, when mom and dad work or someone, whatever. If you don't go to a factory, listen. Oh, my God, it's noisy. But then you go to the offices, right? And then it's quiet. You have air conditioning. It's nice. Everyone with suits. Huh? <laughs> Two complete, the same factory, working on the same thing, to different areas. You're the boss. Now, you're not even the, one, the boss that comes to work. No. You're the owner. My ear was doing noises. You're the owner. You're the one who comes, check the offices. Everyone is working fine. Everyone is like, whenever you want, of course, you're right. And you work, you know, you go in, once in a while, you go into the working zones, go to the other workers, say, hey, are you doing, guys? You okay? You're doing good? Being a good boss, you know? But if you do that every day, Every boss will know that would be bad. If you walk every day into a working zone and say, why aren't you done yet? <laughs> why aren't you working fast enough? What worker would want to work for you anyway? <laughs> and even those who would have to because, you know, financial issues would work, you know, wouldn't work good. Trust me, I worked in certain places like that. It's, it's hell when they are here. When they allow you to just work, man, <laughs> the best. So, be the boss. Breathe. Ah, I see the factory is doing fine. <laughs> you are fine, right? Yes, you feel an emotion. But you already know it's an emotion. Oh, it's pain now. Oh, it's fear. Uh -huh. It's anger. Mm -hmm. It's frustration. Uh -huh. Confusion. Guilt. Happiness. <laughs> But the thing is that those emotions, <laughs> I go round and round and round and round. It has got nothing to do with how we want to feel. <laughs> yes, we can, you know, put some good music and change the emotions a bit, you know, to feel better with ourselves. But when we feel guilt about what something we did with our kids or anyone else, we feel guilt. <laughs> Period. If we feel jealousy because of our partner talking to someone else, we feel jealousy, period. If we feel scared, if we don't know what to do, that's being scared, feeling fear. If you're angry, if you don't like to, because you want to set your boundary and no one is listening, you get really frustrated. Yeah, okay. That's an emotion. You can improve your life, but those emotions, We'll go back around, around, around. When I be rich and famous and all those people, things we want, you know, all the things that I'll be happy. <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> You'll be happy for a moment. Yeah, okay. I manifested so many dreams in my life that it kind of became a sport. <laughs> I flew wherever I wanted, literally. With no money sometimes, literally. I did whatever I wanted, including learning modern dance and ballet. Yeah, I did it for a year. It improved dramatically so much that people looked at me like, why are you quitting? Because I found that it wasn't dancing that I wanted, but standing on stage. Yes, I love to speak. I don't like to, I love to dance. I dance all the time, all, all my life in my home. <laughs> I, we don't have a webcam here. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't want to dance on the stage. It's not my scene. I love it, but it's not my scene. I love being on stage. That's the great thing I've learned after 10 months of, wow, intense, hard work. Jesus. Work, talking about workout. So I manifested many, many dreams only to tell you that it doesn't matter. I even manifested this sentence, which is the biggest manifestation I ever did in my life. And just a moment, my throat. Wait, another one. I wanted something that I can remind myself. Remember, I don't remember things. 
any moment that I'll be fine, that I'm fine, that everything's fine, no matter what. Just so I can keep my... Today I know it's called CPTSD, and that's why I have so many triggers. That, you know, that's why I found this. I looked for it. Um, so the more you breathe, the more you get to know yourself. And like I said in the beginning of this live, which was supposed to be 20 minutes, almost an hour, the only thing I will ever literally recommend is get to know yourself. And by breathing, you get to know your true self, not some like a I am blah, blah, blah. Because the self, and I'm reading now, it's a book, it's called I Am That. Please look it up. It's the book I'm reading now every morning, a chapter. Life-changing. Life-changing. Guys, I Am That by Sri Nasrigata Maharaj. Wow, I did it. <laughs> wow, what a name. Indian guy. He died at, when, at 81, 1981. He met a guru and heard one sentence from that guru. He went for, with a friend. The guru said to him, you don't, you're not what you think of who you are. You are yourself and nothing else. Three years later, the guy, poof, <laughs> you know, you know, opened. And after a while, people started flowing to him and became a huge teacher. Maharaj means a great wisdom or a great, uh, a wise teacher. Sorry if I'm, you know, not perfect. Anyway, he's mentioning the same things. He's saying that I am. Just stay in the I am. Maybe you heard it before. I'm practicing it now, you know, you know, for another practice for myself. And literally because I had enough. The, the reason why I did this live also is to know for sure, you know, when you're put on like I did it, it's out there in the internet. You can operate your life and improve it in any section whatsoever by simply get to know yourself and love yourself in that realm, section, field, whatever name you have for it. Love yourself with your parents. Love yourself who you are with your parents right now, <laughs> not who you want to be, you know, really cheapy, happy family. If you're deep shit with your parents, great. Love yourself for it. I'm there, by the way. Um, if you are in deep shit with money, there, by the way. Love yourself. That's exactly. I'm doing. I'm telling you exactly what I'm doing. I'm not telling you something I read in a book. I am that is something that I started reading in the past year, and thank that, thank God because this guy allows me to. Oh, it's okay to just be and pay attention. Wow, <laughs> cool. This is a great wise one who said it before. True, <laughs> great. So it's true, guys. It's basic is be who you are and pay attention to yourself as you are, whatever, wherever, in whatever field you are right now. In, you're in a shitty job, you don't know what to do. Great. Look, love yourself. I just, and you love yourself, literally, right? How to create love. <laughs> okay, and we'll finish with it. Okay? How to create love. <sighs> okay. First, <laughs> think of um, relationships. <laughs> when you uh, a great connection happens, you have this bang. What do you say? It feels like we know each other for ages, right? <laughs> and what happens when you break up? It's usually it's something. I more I heard it more with from women than for men, so I don't know. But it's just like, I don't know you anymore. So, get to know yourself. Exactly what I said. The more you love yourself, the more you know yourself, the more you trust yourself. Because it's easy. We trust what we know. Simple, right? Ask yourself, do you trust what you don't know? No. If you meet a complete stranger and will tell you, come here, it's a great place, will you go? No, of course not, because unknown, gone. 
let you go for people. A friend will tell you, buy this phone. It's a great phone. Would you buy it? Probably. Because you know the friend. You know that he's your friend. You probably think good for you because, you know, you're a friend. <laughs> Why would you be friends? Um, so you go with what you know. So get to know yourself. You trust yourself. And when you trust, well, it's much easier to love when you trust. Come on. When you have a deep trust with someone and any great relationship will tell you that they have a deep, deep trust within them. And that's what holds the, the bond. Love is an emotion. <laughs> sure, woo. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking a perspective. Perspective, and which is like what we call in the wedding ceremony, like to go by fire, by water, whatever happens. So this is love. We hold on and we get to know each other and we help each other as much as we can, be, each other, be there for each other, for whatever happens. The thing is that this ceremony doesn't help, 50% you know, divorce, uh, but the thing is that the basic is true. Get to know each, yourself. The more you get to know yourself, the better your life will be and the more people like you, because you know yourself better, you'll be a better magnet, let's say. And when you be a bad magnet, you know, the law of attraction, which I mentioned before, it will become sport. <laughs> You're like, hey, what do I want? Oh, <laughs> what do I want? Call? My daughter even, she wanted a, a, a teddy bear with this, with the shirt on it. With this, like in, in the, on a shirt. Like, oh, okay, that's, a, that's something to create. The same day, I found an option I created and I bought her for her, for her first birthday. Oh, no, I'll show you the puppet some, some other time. You know what? Momento. She wanted a t-shirt for herself. She wanted a t-shirt for a puppet. I thought, like, how would I do that? Ta -da. <laughs> yeah, she's a master in manifestation. She is poof. So, let's close. Wow, an hour. I didn't think I was talking about an hour. Whew. How to improve your life. Get to know yourself. How? Whichever way works for you. My way, and I will short it really short. Tiny little changes. Get to know your emotions. Ask questions, guys. <laughs> and breathe, come on. <laughs> it's important. How many times did you calm yourself down by it, you know? Do all those four. Write it down and, you know, remind yourself. You'll get to know yourself because it works. But if you find any other way, if this doesn't work, if you didn't connect, if the chemistry didn't work for you, go find your way. It's not a must to go through some other ways. Um, I will even add to that. I will... Um, recommend to just learn learn from the here here there there book a show a live a ted talk uh, your friends <laughs> yourself the thing is that whatever you see outside and yeah it will sound a bit spiritual but you said that <laughs> um whatever you see outside is a manifestation of yourself so if you go through a teacher or go through yourself whichever works for you it doesn't matter I worked with myself because I didn't have anyone outside which I trusted. I have very, very few people I trust till today. Very, very few. I still have, I can hold a cigarette, which I quit. Another thing which I did with this method, I stopped smoking after 16 years of smoking. And you know why I stopped? Because the, you know, my mind went, you're destroying your main <laughs> calming down me uh, mechanism. Breathing. <laughs> Boom. The smoking stopped. So breathe enough until you stop smoking. <laughs> it works. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for listening, if you did. Um, hope you're good. Yeah, the poll is kind of a joke. Of course, we have, want to live in love. Start. Get to know yourself, guys. Ask questions. Get to know yourself. Ask enough questions and breathe long enough to get the answers. Have a great life. Have a great day. Sayonara.